up here. There he is. Hey everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie Bree. This is my cat Buddy. Hello buddy. Say hi buddy. And you give him a hug. He doesn't want to be held right now, but he did jump up in my arms. So he wants to be in my lap, but he doesn't want to be held. But I'm going to put him down so I can talk. <clears throat> All right. I've been thinking about this a lot lately, and so I just wanted to ask the question, how often should I vlog? What's the standard? You know, what do I want to commit to? So this is me talking to my audience. I decided to start doing vlogs because I could do a vlog anytime I wanted and I could talk about whatever's on my mind. And that's how I handle my website. I just blog. And so I thought I do the same thing on YouTube. I just blog. You know? Whatever's on my mind. And so that's what I decided to do. But I was thinking about how frequently do I want to make videos or what do I want to commit to? And I was going through different scenarios where I was trying to figure out well what how can I get inspired so I took a notebook and I wrote down a bunch of ideas for topics that I'd like to get to eventually someday and so whenever I sit down at my desk I sit down on my laptop here the first thing I do is I take my, I open up my camera app that I use to record these vlogs and I pull out my notebook and I try to see if there's something I feel like talking about and I go through the list and if I can't think of anything or if nothing jumps out at me like oh this is what I want to talk about or I can't think of anything to say on that topic then I'll I'll try to think of something else if I'm not inspired I won't make a video it's as simple as that I have to have something to say in order to say it and I feel like that's important to me as a creative person I'm a writer by trade um, professionally a writer I get paid <clears throat> to be a writer for a living. Um, previously, I worked for a newspaper. Currently, I'm unemployed. I'm in between jobs, but writing is my craft. So what I do is I come up with an idea, and I think of my thoughts, and then I put my thoughts down. And then I sometimes I go back and edit it. Sometimes I, I proofread. Sometimes I just throw it out in the wild and just see what happens I do the same kind of thing with my videos obviously I don't edit my videos and I can't really proofread them because there's no script I just ramble basically off the cuff and that's what I can guarantee I can guarantee that I will make raw videos unscripted unedited that's what I'm committing to because I enjoy that type of content as well it's not the only content I watch but I do, I do consume quite a bit of content that is like that. Not everything has to be polished. Not everything has to be perfect. I know a lot of the most popular YouTubers, they've got, you know, edited content. And that seems to be what's popular. But it's not the only thing that exists. And I find that some of my favorite videos are just, just vlogs. Just people talking, being real. And that's what I like. I don't need I don't need a lot of editing I don't need a lot of graphics I don't need a lot of overlays just talk to me just tell me what's on your mind you know let me see you talking to the camera that's what I provide how often am I gonna do it honestly as long as I'm inspired but I'm not gonna commit to making a certain number of videos a week I'm not gonna say even one a week I will only make videos when I have something to say it's like I only write in my blog when I have something to write about. I haven't written in my blog in three weeks. But I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to just sit down and force myself to write something if I have nothing to say. That's... It's just... It doesn't work for me. So... <clears throat> that's how it is with the blogging. If I have something to say, I'll say it. I was going to make a video. I wrote it down on the list where I talk about my cat. But I showed him at the beginning of this video. His name is Buddy. There's not a lot to say about it. I've had him for three years. He was, no, I've had him for two years. I've had him for two years, and he was three years old when I got him. So he's about five years old right now. A little over five. 
uh, but there's not really a whole lot to say about him, so I can't make a whole video on Buddy, so I just wanted to throw that out there, and uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a like, leave a subscription, like, please subscribe to my channel, help the channel grow, and if you don't mind, leave a comment, let me know how often do you want me to blog. Just tell me, talk to me, or tell me what types of videos you want to see me make, what do you want to hear me talk about? What topics do you, are you curious to get my opinion on? Let me know. Leave a comment. Stay cool. Thank you.